day and welcome to today's tutorial class. My name is Olua Tumbi Blessing or Lalikon, the founder of Michael Tech. All right, today we'll be considering the problem as displayed on the screen. Two pipes K and M of unequal diameter intersects at right angle as shown in the figure above. So draw full size A, the given view, B, the plan, C, curve of intersection, then D, development of pipe K with X, X as the same. All right, so to solve this problem, the very first thing, we are going to do the first part, which is what? The part A. We have to what? Reproduce the what? The given view. And to do that, my very, my very first procedure is to produce a thin horizontal line in this order, as you can see on the screen. Okay. Then I'm going to actually pick my compass, all right? So we are told that uh, that cylinder K is diameter 50. Diameter 50. I'm going to pick the length of 50, which as you can see. So stand right here, strike, and what? And strike. So that is my mark of what? Of diameter 50. Then I'm going to what? Project it upwards. Yeah. As you can see on the screen faintly first faintly okay as you can see on the screen we are told that the height is what mark of 60 with my ruler i measure the height of 60 which is this that is the height of 60 so i'm going to draw that faintly also horizontally horizontally faintly okay so after doing that so we are told that the cylinder that intersects it at right angle which is cylinder hem is uh the, having the diameter of 30 millimeters okay and the distance of it is 15 millimeters from the top so from my top i'm measuring length of 15 15 millimeters which is this then i'm measuring distance of what 30 millimeters which is uh this also so i'm going to project both horizontally both points horizontally this right here and this right here Okay, having done that, we are told that the length of the pipe of diameter 30 is what is 15 mm, which is what I'm picking right now. That's diameter 15. Diameter 30, length of 15, which is this. Okay, so I've reproduced the question as this. So this is K, this is M. B, we are told to what to produce the plan. So to produce the plan, what I'm going to do is this. The midpoint of this diameter 50 is what is 25, which is this. So having the mark of 25, I am projecting a vertical line faintly downward on the mark of 25, all right? Yeah, faintly. Then uh, from the base of my cylinder, yeah, I'm picking a mark of 10, yeah, mark of 10. I'm going to draw a line there horizontally on the mark of 10, like this. So after doing that, uh, yeah, the mark this in the diameter of cylinder k is what is diameter 50 so to project the plan that will be radius what radius 25 which is what i pick with my compass so standing at this midpoint with radius 25 i strike an arc then at this point of intersection of my arc on this vertical plane i what i draw this circle okay i'm going to make it bold once and for bold as you can see on the screen right there okay so I'm going to project a line across the center of that circle like this faintly horizontally as you can see on the screen okay so after doing that we are told that the diameter of that pipe m is what is diameter 30 that would be radius what radius 15. so with my ruler okay from the center of my circle right here i measure mark of 15 upwards and mark of 15 downwards which is what 30 like that so each of those points will be projected horizontally also. Okay. And like this. So considering that this is the length of our cylinder M, I'm going to project that length downward. Okay. Yeah. Which is this. So I'm projecting it downward here. Faintly. All right. So I'm having my cylinder here also now. So let me thicken it on the plan also. Okay, 
so that is it as you can see on the screen right there so i can thicken uh this out all together like this okay this comes all the way stops there all the way stops here okay Okay. So I taken out my plan and what and elevation. Now the third thing is option C is what the curve of intersection. So to get that, to get that uh, from my plan right here, I'm going to develop this on my plan. So from the center of cylinder M right here, okay, I project this like this, as you can see, faintly. Then from here, I'm going to draw this with that same radius. From here, I draw this as if I want to divide the circle into 12 equal parts, okay. But I'm dividing this into what? Into 6 equal, 6 parts, yeah, into 6 parts. So I'm having that. So I'm going to do the same thing at the top here also, standing right here having that midpoint from here also i would i draw that so from here i'm having this from here i'm having this so it's my t square other center i'm projecting this like this so from here i'm having this and what and this as you can see on the screen right there so each of these points will be drawn what vertically towards the inside each of those points i project them vertically faintly faintly okay with thin continuous line towards what towards the inside of uh cylinder k okay i'm going to do the same thing on the plan also so to wherever it touches the bigger cylinder that's where i'm going to actually stop okay on the plan so wherever it touches the bigger cylinder i stop there on the plan all right so that is also my numbering right here mark three mark two mark one zero one two three on my plan this should be what three two one zero zero one two so take note of those numbering as you can see on the screen okay so now the next procedure is this uh mark zero and mark zero this is where it touches my cylinder on the plan so i'm going to project that mark upwards okay yeah mark zero and mark zero so projecting mark zero upwards faintly this way it touches my mark zero on the elevation so right here i would i uh, denote it asterisk it okay so mark one and one on my plan i would i project it upwards so this way it touches my one on the what on the elevation i would i asterisk it also so mark two and two this is it so taking it upwards this way it what it touches mark two on my what on my elevation then mark three stays right here and what and right here so having that i'm going to pick up my french curve all right then what draw out the interpenetration curve using my what using my french curve all right so with my french curve i'm having this all right so as you can see on the screen that is what that is the interpenetration curve that is the contour a curve of what of intersection so uh question d says we should develop pipe k with xx as the same remember these are mark x and what and x as the same so develop pipe k all i'm going to do is this i'm going to uh, project the height of pipe k horizontally towards my right hand side okay all right after doing that i'm going to uh, plot a vertical mark making this as my starting point as my reference point so i'm going to try and get one of the sector of uh cylinder k from the plan so with this right here on my plan i'm going to come right here i see i want to divide it into 12 equal parts so right there then from here right here i said i want to divide this 
cylinder into what into 12 equal parts so having that i have what a sector ready so i'm going to pick my mark which is here to here so as if we want to do normal development of a cylinder that was we are actually going to apply here so picking one of the sector i'm going to mark it out 12 times one two so this is mark 12 so having mark 12 i'm going to join mark 12 also vertically to the top right there okay so this is going to be mark, mark zero one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and what and twelve so i'm going to draw mark six also vertically mark six vertically so as it stands now here is our mark zero one two three is here so this area right here on us our uh, biggest cylinder is what is mark six which what aligns with this junction here so the next procedure is this the next procedure is this so uh each of these vertical line here each of these vertical line here i'm going to what, transfer them right here so if this area is our mark six if these are mark six and these are mark zero so i'm going to denote uh this first one here as small letter a this second vertical line small letter b this third vertical line small letter c okay all right so next thing is to actually get this area okay this uh cut out part on this area okay remember i said this area is our mark what mark six okay and these are mark what mark a so from mark six to a that's the distance right there okay so coming right here on mark six i have my what a and you know we are having a at the top and what at the bottom so i'm going to do that also so as i'm marking it i'm going to note it this a and what a a a all right so mark six to uh b okay that's it right there mark six to b to b so i will note it this is my word b and this is my word b okay mark six to uh c this is it right here so mark six to c to c is it c and what and c all right so having those junctions i'm going to project them horizontal i mean vertically we'll mark a b and c on both sides so this is mark a all right this is mark b and this is mark c okay this is mark c this is mark b and this is mark a all right so having those points now having those points so the next thing is uh on the horizontal plane yeah let's start with our midpoint okay this mark zero so i draw that faintly okay followed by mark one right here horizontally also mark two right here horizontally and mark three right here okay horizontally i'm going to do the same thing towards the bottom part mark one from the bottom that is it mark two from the bottom that is it then mark three from the bottom this is it okay having it that way so i'm going to asterisk this asterisk this the midpoint this and what and this then this comes this comes this comes this comes this comes here so those are our what our junction so i'm going to pick my french curve and what and draw out the curve gotten from uh each of these points right yeah okay all right so that is the curve gotten that is the curve gotten so i'm just going to take out the circumference of the cylinder itself okay which is this right here okay and this right here okay then this right here and this right here okay so that is the solution to the problem as displayed on the screen kindly ensure you subscribe to this youtube channel and also refer it to your friends who might be in need of it my name remains oluwa tumbi blessing or the founder of michael tech Thank you.